Okay, so in this video, we're going to take a look at OpenBazaar and how to customize your profile page. So in the program, we were looking at my Doctor Who fan account that I created for the demo here. And you can do a couple of things to be able to customize it. You can do either click the customize button here, or if you go to the upper right hand corner, you will see another copy of your uh, profile image and that is also a menu. Clicking that gives you customize page, which does the same thing. So click that, and you have a variety of options here. So basically, on the left-hand side, you have four different boxes here, and you can click them, and what these are are colors for different parts of the profile page. So if you click the first one, and if you mouse over any of these different preset colors, you can see that it's changing some of the button colors and the sort of main background uh, where my about description and sort of that inf sort of information uh, below is displayed. So you can see I can just click any of these and it selects the color or there is also a little palette and if you click that, it allows you to pick any color you want. So you can see how this is all changing, but I'm just gonna go with that preset color for the sake of it. And then the second item, you can see that changes, like basically it's the top tab bar there. And I'm gonna change that to, let's go with this. And then the third, this is our background on the borders there. So I think I will set that to this. And then the last one is for the text, or not all the text, but a majority of the text. And it will change it from white to black, or again, with any of these, you can click the palette and you can select a color that's completely customized. But I'm just gonna leave it on white. So let's see what else we can change here. You have a cover photo, which is a top banner photo, whatever you wanna call it, and you can click the button here to select a different one. So I have uh, this one I, I included to use as this header image. I hit open and I can drag a little bit, depending on the dimensions of the image, I can might be able to drag it up or down, right and left a little bit. And you can hit save at any point and that will save all the changes you've made so far. Now that's pretty much everything that you can actually customize by clicking that customize page button. Uh, and you will notice if you scroll down that there are there's some information here that's missing. So you don't have anything for website or email, Facebook, none of these things are mandatory in the first place, uh, but you do notice that they're blank here. And the about section is also blank. That information actually you need to change if you click edit, for example, that's one way of getting there, but there's settings that's in the menu in the upper right hand corner, settings, uh, which I'm actually gonna go into in a separate lesson. That is where you would need to go if you wanted to actually add a little more profile information about yourself, like your contact information, Instagram account, and Snapchat and whatnot. And we'll go into that in a separate lesson. But that's the basics, just a quick overview of how to edit your profile page.